Hello, welcome to the next Ale Degustation session. This time is what? Bean Tank Beer Pilsner Brewed with quality ingredients International quality and 4.7% ABV Brewed and bottled by PT Multi Bintang Indonesia. Right. But from large distance, looks like a Heineken, isn't it? It has a red star, green bottle. And you know why? Because it's owned by Heineken. From uh, late 1920s. Uh, so. That's, that's why, that's why. So, I'm just assuming that it will be a little bit similar to, to Heineken. It's, it is a big bottle, uh, 620 milliliters. Uh, ingredients. Water, malted barley, sucrose, barley and hops. So they added sugar. Added sugar probably to, uh, to make this beer drier. You know, to ferment it. it even further from the uh, you know weak word but it doesn't matter um, the bean tank brewery it's owned by um, Kingfisher but Kingfisher it's a Heineken's brand anyway so right it is a, a nice white uh, and red cup with the um, red star it's like like here on the neck Right, so let's have a try. Let's have a try. It, it is a quite fresh beer because the um, date is uh, for March 2018, so it's almost a year. Yeah, I would say it, it is a uh, almost pilsner uh, aroma. It could be better, but yes, it, it is quite distinctive uh, hoppiness in it. Some maltiness. It's not so bad, not so bad. Right, so. Uh, typical look, so. Pale straw color, clear, nice carbonation. Head, white, small medium bubble, so it's not so bad. Nice pilsner aroma. It's not very strong, but it's there. So far, all right. Let's have a try. Yeah, nice, refreshing, very drinkable. Quite high carbonation. Uh, you have a little bit sweetness um, in this beer. Then a little bit mineral water feeling, you know. It is um, it's not full bodied. It's rather medium going to light. And then you have small bitterness. But you can you can. Uh, Detect some hops in it as well, so it's it's okay. Mm, you can find some lemon accents in it, so it's not bad. It's not bad. There's no faults in it except this, you know, watery feeling and you know, mineral water characteristics uh, but overall it's okay it's okay as for a macro lager it's all right no it leaves even um, lacing on a glass right so it's quite crisp refreshing very drinkable 
but you will not find many aromas in this beer. Like I said, hint of sweetness from maltiness or maybe from the sugar leftover um, uh, sweetness. Then you have uh, some hoppiness. Uh, it smells like like sass, you know, very traditional um, hoppiness, like for pilsner. And then you have, then you have um, small amount of lemon and bitterness. It's low, little bit fortified by alcohol. But it's there. And overall it is a pleasant beer. Of course, you know, it's not a beer to contemplate uh, aromas or you know, flavors. No, it's beer to drink. Or just, you know, have something in your in your in your glass and drink it when you doing something else when you're watching much when you uh, uh, um, speak with friends in the pub yes um, you know during barbecue great especially when it's it's nicely chilled yes but uh, there's nothing to contemplate nothing to you know mm. Yes, I would drink it again. It's so lovely. No, everyday beer, not to think, to drink. I don't think it is any, any rice in it or anything like this, but it is added sugar. But I think to have more alcohol, from a uh, weak uh, world, so that's that's why you can feel that it's it's not a full-bodied uh, beer. But anyway, it does everything what you would expect from lager, right? It's not offensive, crisp, refreshing, wet, has some alcohol good enough uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video please like it please subscribe my channel and cheers